A lot of people use that analogy of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. And I've had friends who say, how am I going to pull myself up when I don't even have bootstraps? Education serves many as a pathway to success. Regrettably, each year 200,000 low-income high school graduates are capable of attending college, but don't. They don't have the money. They can't afford tutors or college prep courses. They don't have parents who know how to guide them. Their high schools are understaffed. They're intimidated by the process. But now, they can succeed. Welcome to College Possible. We've now made college possible for nearly 15,000 low-income students through a curriculum of intensive support provided by these AmeriCorps members during the high school students' junior and senior years. Okay, so you're preparing. I'm trying. Okay, good. Let me know if you have questions. Okay. All right. Okay. You'll do great. We envision a day when the future of America's children is determined solely by their talent, motivation, and effort. I was surrounded by people who were below poverty. Some of my friends lived in their car with their parents. We lived in an attic once, a lot of different like projects. And then once we lived in an abandoned house, we had a mattress that we all shared. Just me, my mom, and my sister. I didn't want to be there. You don't get out. You'll just be stuck in this never-ending cycle or trap of poverty and homelessness and teen pregnancy gangs, violence, all of that. I knew that I wanted to do something else. I didn't know what it looked like. I'd never seen it before. I never experienced it. And no one had answers for me. At 14, I was done. And I had a principal who used to stop me in the hallway and, Jessica, what are you going to be when you grow up? I'm like, I'm going to be a scientist. And she would say, well, you have to find the cure for cancer for me. And she died of breast cancer a few years after my experience at that school. And so I was determined to go to college. You had to take one of those tests called the ACT or the SAT. So I joined this program. College Possible on three. One, two, three. College Possible! I found out about College Possible during homeroom in my sophomore year. We make a really concentrated effort and spend a lot of time in our partner schools. There's sort of an art form to finding the right kids. You know, there's some kids that you know are at risk of dropping out of high school and probably aren't even going to finish. And then there's a group of low-income kids who are high flyers, who are almost sure to go to college and earn big scholarships. And that's not really our group either. We're trying to find kids in that academic middle, the kids who, with some intensive help, could make it to a four-year college and succeed when they get there. Most students in our program are first-generation college students. The average family income for a student in our program is about $25,000 a year. They have to write a short essay. We look at teacher recommendations. Are they willing to put in a little bit of time to get in? After school, twice a week for two hours. They do an interview. And try to find kids who we think are going to be the best fit for our program. You get the test preparation. You learn how to fill out college applications, look for scholarships. And they even took you on trips to visit college campuses. And I had never seen a college campus before. I was a former college possible student myself. So I understand coming from a low-income family, the hardship and the obstacles that you face. My mother didn't know anything about it. Honestly, I don't think she had the thought about me going to college. I didn't think I would be able to afford college at the time before I got into College Possible. The jobs I worked, you know, it wasn't enough. So, you know, I want to see my kids go to college and really land a good job where they can support their own, you know, have something, do something. Would be updating resumes today, pretty much what you did over the summer. My coach is Cherkos. We have a lot of fun in session because he's kind of close in our age, so he kind of understands the things that we go through. I share pretty much my life story. Coming from an immigrant family, it was hard. I had a teacher telling me that I couldn't go to college because I wasn't a college material. 
I said, okay, that's just your opinion. But so that actually made me work harder. He's a really big influence for us to have somebody that actually went through the program and went on to college. So we kind of see, yeah, this program does really work. My college possible coach was nothing that I expected. <laughs> We're going to be talking today about college fairs and college visits. When you go to a college fair, that person standing at that booth is somebody who's going to make a decision whether or not you gain admittance to that college. So when you're talking to that person, you want to show your best self, right? My coach is quirky. Hey. Spunky hey, and energetic. So Yasmin Jelani. Can I just call you Yas? <laughs> no, okay. But she can also be very supportive of whatever you want to do. Yeah. What are your top eight schools right now? Well, my top pick is Yale. Okay. And Yale University of Chicago, Notre Dame, Boston University okay. is one okay. of them, and the U of M. Great. Just awesome. keeping my options open and reaching for the best. She's an extremely motivated student. Her parents were immigrants from Ethiopia, and her mom came here as a political asylee. So her family's been here since she was in middle school, and she's just told me amazing stories about learning how to uphold her identity as an Ethiopian woman, learn to really thrive in the culture that is here in the United States. And her biggest goal in life is just to go back to Ethiopia and to educate students and to give them more opportunities than she had when she was there. And I just think that's such a powerful thing to hear from a student that's only in high school. I have been convinced from the first day that I heard about it that College Possible is going to change the world. I didn't realize how rapidly it could potentially happen. We work with students from a wide variety of racial and ethnic backgrounds. Black, white, Asian, Latino. Kenya, Liberia. Ethiopia, Eritrea. From Guatemala. It's nice to be around people that aren't like you because I feel like everyone can learn from somebody else. I would say it's hardworking families, many of whom don't have an understanding of the process of becoming a college student. Our coaches are in some ways, kind of doing a lot of the things that a middle-class parent would do. What else were things that you thought people could do better or could improve on? Norman comes from a very difficult background. He is the son of a single mother. My family consists of seven brothers and a couple, like maybe three sisters, I think. Or... His family has dealt with drug addictions and alcohol addictions for a very long time. And last spring, he told me, <laughs> I'm going to show God. Um. She really helped me. She gave me great advice about college, and she gave me great opportunities to go visit, go talk about colleges. So last spring, Norman told me that he's going to be the first male in his entire family to graduate from high school and to go on to college is something that never even occurred to his family. So for him, I just know that that is a dream come true, and I'm so proud of him. He's got a lot of options out there for college, and I'm just excited for him to be that first male and set that example in his family of a future that is very different from the one he came from. It's a pretty interesting... You couldn't just pick any AmeriCorps member and have them deliver the kind of results that we do. You've really got to get sort of the best and the brightest and the most energetic and really the most idealistic recent college graduates to be able to succeed at this work. If I had the ability to expand College Possible into every high school in the district, I would do so in a moment. Once they come into our building, we provide a space for them to meet with their students, a computer, a phone. I still think it's amazing. College Possible provides all the other funding. They run two different sessions two days a week. So there's a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, plus an additional session after our sports teams are done practicing. So no one gets left out. I had my college possible coach to really rely on. I remember her taking us to all types of websites where we could look up different scholarships and ended up going to Carleton College, which is $50,000 a year. And I had scholarships that got me all the way through. And in the end of that, instead of having $200,000 in debt, I had like $3,000 in loans. Still surreal to me, even today, looking back on it, I can't believe that I graduated in four years and I did consider not walking across the stage because everyone else had family there. But I was like, you know, why not? Because it's an accomplishment and it just shows that you did it. So I did it. <laughs>
our program not only gets kids in the college, but it teaches them the fundamentals of setting goals, working hard to reach a goal, and enjoying the satisfaction and celebration that can come after that, which builds self-esteem, builds character, and probably plays a role in encouraging kids to set other goals and decide that there isn't any potential achievement that they can't have if they decide that they want it and work hard to achieve it. In our partnership with College Possible uh, over the past several years, we've seen just a huge increase in the number of students of color and first-generation students coming to Augsburg. The impact that that change in our population has had in our day-to-day -day life is quite palpable and quite exciting. They bring a real energy to our life here at the college. Making it through college, a step that people think is impossible for students with backgrounds like me, is just the most amazing thing you can ever experience. I never actually imagined that I would end up in a place like this. If I could only do one thing, I could encourage these students to believe in themselves, regardless of what anyone else ever tells them. And being a coach in the program is my way to give back to the program that really changed my life path. Can't understand why we were so lucky as to have College Possible come to our school. It's just been wonderful and it's been all take on our part. It's been all give on the part of College Possible and their donors, and we are very grateful. If we work together, think about the difference we can make. Think about the impact we could have with just the organizations represented in this room. We've got Jim McCorkle here from Admission Possible, a group that helps promising young people from low-income families attend college. 99% of the admission possible class of 2008 got into college. 99%. Where's Jim? Where's Jim? There he is back there. The vast majority stay in college and earn their degrees. Admission possible operates in just two states now. So imagine if it was 10 or 20 or 50. I think the work that we're doing helps demonstrate that a solution is available. And I think our future is really bright because I think we could serve 200 or 300 or 400,000 kids one day all across America. College Possible on three. One, one two, two, three. College Possible! Education is their path out of poverty for them and for future generations. It would be very nice to see my daughter as a lawyer or a doctor. I can see College Possible serving so many people with AmeriCorps members. I'd love to see it everywhere. What parent wouldn't want their kid in it?